Hey guys, welcome to this week's OMG Tuesday. I am excited to share with you not just a full coverage foundation, but an extreme coverage foundation. I don't know why, but to me, when I was researching and trying to find cool products to test out here on my channel, I saw the word extreme and I was like, um, okay, that's like next level full coverage. So what this foundation claims to do is it is going to cover everything in a very, very extreme way. This is a product from Prague. It is called Dermacol. It is a foundation that you can use as a spot corrector, concealer, and foundation. It comes in 20 shades, so you have a lot to choose from. I picked three so that I could use it as my concealer and on my face as well. So I'm not gonna ramble a ton. I'm gonna tell you more about the product as I actually apply it. And we're gonna skip to me with no makeup right now, applying the product itself. But then I am gonna do check-ins throughout the day. We're gonna zoom in really close. We're gonna see if it looks cakey, if it oxidizes, if it starts looking weird, you know the drill. That's what we do on OMG Tuesday. So let's hop to the application portion of this video. First things first, I needed to decide what shade I was going to use of the three for foundation and which I was going to use for concealer. So I decided to go with the shade 210, the middle shade underneath my eyes. And I used barely barely any product and you can see how far this is stretching. It really blew my mind that I was able to not only conceal underneath my eyes but highlight and then I did end up going even on top of my eyelid to cancel out veins and use that as my eyeshadow base. So this really goes such a long way. It's very, very concentrated. You only need the lightest touch of product. And then here I am smoothing it out with my fingertip. It doesn't feel extremely heavy when you first apply it. It's actually surprisingly lightweight. And that is some extreme coverage. So on the Dermacol website, they do say that you can use this as a spot concealer. You could use it as full foundation underneath the eyes to highlight. You can really use this on face or body anywhere you need to cover up a tattoo or a sunspot like me or hyperpigmentation which i'm doing right here you can do that so on the face i did mix the shades 221 and 210 just to kind of balance things out used a dampened beauty blender and that's how i got my finished result they do say this is also long wearing and waterproof it's preservative free and just has a lot of bold claims. All right, so as you saw, the foundation applies like the most crazy coverage you've ever seen in your entire life. I'm kind of blown away. I do not think I have tried a more concentrated product since the Kevnaquan Sensual Skin Enhancer, which is an amazing product. It's much more glowy, and that one makes me break out like craziness even though it's so beautiful, I just can't use it. So I'm really excited that I like how this feels so far. It feels pretty like, I don't wanna say matte. It, it feels like it's not going to get too greasy. It's very lightweight. It took me a hot minute to apply it, which I don't really like. So I don't think this is like quick, everyday, easy makeup because with something so very extreme coverage, you are going to want to take your time to make sure it's all blended out perfectly. So you're not going into the real world looking like, wow, that's a crap ton of makeup on your face, you know? So it's not like the easiest, quickest makeup ever, but I do have to say right now, my skin feels awesome. It covered everything, including my little sunspot, my little pigmentation issues, and I'm really happy about it. So I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. James, you love it, you love it, well, let me you see. love it, you love it. You know, it looks nice. It's really... Uh, there are things I don't like about it, but I just wanted to hear your words of wisdom because apparently everybody loves James's input on the makeup, according to the comments section. Okay, you know what? This is what I'm going to say, and I don't know what I'm talking about, so let's start with that. Um, from a distance, mm -hmm. you look really polished. It looks like fantastic makeup. Mm -hmm. But I... I don't, I don't, I don't feel like I can see it sitting on the skin, but it's like, it's a little bunchy. It's not bunchy. It's a little dry. It's got a little texture to it. It's a little dry. A little dry. I feel like you need some misting spray. You're not quite as dewy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It is more of a matte finish guys. Like it has not gotten oily. It is very just like, like it's just very dry. But, but you, not in like a horrible way. You look really pretty. Thank it's you. nice makeup. Thanks. It's just not as dewy as normal. Yeah. Okay. I'm feeling all the same feelings that James uh, mentioned. When I look really close up on my nose, I can see 
it is kind of separating there is a little texture so I feel like at this point although I love how flawless this looks I feel like it is special occasion evening um, you know when you're gonna be taking a lot of photos it's that kind of makeup it's not everyday makeup where you're like gonna go hang out with your girlfriends or run some errands and I just don't think you need this heavy extreme coverage I do have to say the dryness has gotten a little more intense underneath my eyes I'll show you can you see that oh good you can actually see things right now see my nose right it's dry if it didn't have the dryness under my eyes or my nose I think I would love this so 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 much but I think for everyday use I'm gonna stick with my hourglass or La Mer although at this point in the day I just I don't think it's a bad product from a distance it's fine it's when you get like really super close up that you're like whoa like what's happening there um all right so i am running some errands i'm actually giving the keynote address at sogal conference tomorrow morning and i haven't even worked on what i'm gonna say so uh james is grabbing some coffee for me we're gonna work on um everything i'm gonna talk about i'm gonna run some errands and i will check back in with you guys in just a little bit so we are now at namie's i talk about namie's all the time this is where i pick up a lot of my odds and ends beauty whatnot i've been shopping here since i was 16. this is like makeup artists heaven they have a lot of the harder to find brands and they also have wigs see see Hey, Tati. Yeah? Why don't we get you a wig for your channel? Oh, yes. I think that's a good idea. Who wants to do their hair anymore? Yeah. Why does this feel like Madness Monday, but we're in Mamie's, right? Who in the comments watched Madness Monday? Like, how far do some of you guys go back? Because I'm kind of thinking I should do like a holiday special Madness Monday, maybe something of that nature. Let me know. Let me know. Who loves Tati's new hair? I love Tati's new hair. I do. It's awesome. She was complaining today that she thought it was too short. It's a little short. It's not too short. This is where I got the uh, finger sponge. What the hell? Poopery anyone? Oh my gosh, that's a big bottle. That's a really big bottle. That's a lifetime supply. Actually. Lifetime supply. I don't know that I would want this big of a bottle in my bathroom. No, like, does, what uh, does that say? Let them smell. <laughs> it smells like Christmas. It, it does. It's nice. So I am giving the keynote address at SoGal Conference tomorrow, and I'm trying to find at the last minute, of course, something cool to wear just so I have a little more confidence up there on stage. So that's what we're doing right now. Foundation is still doing the same um, from far away good, close up, not so much, not so much. This seemed like a really good idea on the hanger, but to be honest, this is so low cut. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Next. So this is really cute, but I should really get my life together enough um, to not shop like the night before. So these are like way, way too long. Dang it, they're super cute though, right? Too long though. All right, I can't come to the mall and not go into Sephora. What is this? Dramatic firming? I might need to give this a try. Oh, this looks pretty. I'm in the Isle of Temptation, guys. I'm managing to leave with one thing. Let's do this. Hi, Puka. Hi. Um, yeah, so I have now had this foundation on for a good solid 10 hours. I don't think it's long wear by any means, but it is extreme coverage. So if you are looking for something for an event, a performance, um, even I think even more so to spot conceal I think this is a good product But it's not something that I would reach for every single day being that it is a little bit thicker and The texture issue that I experienced a little while after the initial application is just not the greatest thing You know like who wants that? Um, not me I'd rather have my skin look a little more fresh and have a little bit of pigmentation than be completely masked and have kind of that 
weird texture dry thing but I think I will try this with a drop of oil added in I know that's one of my favorite foundation tricks for just not even mattifying foundation but any foundation it just kind of brings life to your skin so I will try that out and what more can I say good product for certain special occasions bad product on the daily but I'm happy that I tried out this interesting unique extreme coverage foundation from Prague and I hope you guys enjoyed tagging along with me throughout my day and if you enjoyed this video then you can give it a thumbs up but I'm gonna go wash my face and go to bed. So I love you guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.